Hi everyone and welcome back to the happy heart. I'm so glad you guys came back to see another cook with me video. This is one of my very favorite recipes to make. It's actually a creamy chicken noodle soup and the best thing about it is is a definite crowd pleaser. Every time I make this soup people rave about it, love it, and want the recipe. So I wanted to share it with you guys. This soup is a cream based soup but it's really hearty and really yummy so I'll show you what you need. I'm making this soup tonight for a bunch of our friends and we're everybody's coming over for a game night and it's just really been cold the last couple days so I thought this would be a perfect meal. Excuse my appearance, I have no makeup on because uh, my husband is running to the store for me and my purse is in the car with my foundation and all my makeup. But I still wanted to shoot this video and get it out there to you guys so real life here, right? These are all my ingredients. You are gonna need um, just, you can use one carrot, I usually use about three and I cut it into small pieces. Same for celery, I use, you can use one, but I usually use about three. This is about four, because I really like the celery in the soup. And I cut up one onion into small pieces. I cut up about five red potatoes of all varied sizes. So I'm gonna put this amount in my soup. Um, you also need heavy whipping cream and half and half. If you don't have half and half, you can definitely use milk as well. It's The half and half is just kind of a finish at the end. And regular fettuccine noodles, and we'll break these up into thirds. And you'll need about eight cups of chicken broth. I always use these chicken bouillon cubes and just boil them and make my own chicken broth because eight of these cubes cost like 70 or 80 cents, which is cheaper than, you know, buying chicken stock. And a couple tablespoons of dried parsley flakes. We're also gonna need one stick of butter, salted or unsalted, whatever you prefer. We can't forget the butter for browning and the olive oil for browning our vegetables. I am also over here boiling three chicken breasts. They are almost done and I'm gonna shred them up in my KitchenAid. The other thing you can do is you can boil a whole chicken. The recipe actually says to boil a whole chicken and use the broth from that. Um, most of the time I just don't have a whole chicken so I have adapted and done this method where I boil about three chicken breasts and it works out. To actually make the soup I use a big heavy cast iron pan and mine is well loved but it works really really well. The person I got the recipe from she actually used a really tall stock pot so you can use that as well. If you guys are like me, you hate shredding chicken, so I have come up with a secret tip. So I actually use my KitchenAid and I use the paddle attachment. I just put the three chicken breasts in there and I'm gonna put some salt and pepper, garlic, and if I had Lowry seasoning salt, I would put that on as well just to kind of season up the chicken a little bit. You're just gonna turn it on and it will shred up your chicken. It sounds weird, but it actually works. It'll get really fine, so just really kind of watch it, but it takes about five minutes and you come back and it's shredded. Okay guys, so this is our finished product. Our chicken is all shredded up. If you don't want it this fine, just stop it a couple minutes before. It's really easy. You didn't have to touch it, pull it apart, do anything like that. All right, this is my chicken bouillon cubes in six cups of water, and then this is gonna be our chicken stock. All right guys, I put my cast iron um, soup pot on my stove and I'm gonna put just a couple teaspoons of olive oil and probably a teaspoon of two or but of butter so then I can um, saute some of the vegetables. So you can see that I have my heat on um, just a little bit over medium. You don't wanna get your, especially if you're using cast iron, don't want to get the heat too hot because everything, you'll never get this pan cooled back down. And we're going to throw all of our vegetables in there and get them cooked down until they're really soft. If you're having a hard time getting your vegetables to steam up, you want them really soft. I usually just put the lid on with a little bit of space for a couple minutes and let it do its thing. So we'll put all six cups of our chicken breath in and just let that come to a boil. 
and then we will put in our potatoes. All right guys, so I lied. <laughs> I um, was doing this recipe and trying to figure out my measurements and I make it so much without um, looking at the recipe that I told you wrong. It takes eight cups of chicken broth. So I put in um, eight of those cubes to eight cups of water, boiled them, and made a broth, and then that's what I just poured right into my um, soup. So that should be all the chicken broth that you need. So I lied, I told you wrong, but the recipe will be in the description box below, so you can um, check that out for all of the exact measurements. With this soup, we're just looking for the chicken broth to come to kind of like a simmer. We want it all to just kind of come together, marry and taste really good. So we're looking for just a little low boil, kind of a, a simmer. All right, you guys, I don't know if you can see it, but it is kind of starting to simmer. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my chicken in there right now. I'm gonna throw the chicken in there so it's all very, very flavorful. So we are going to let this simmer up um, until it comes to a simmering kind of boil. And we're gonna let it cook for probably about, I'm throwing some dried parsley in. You can see that this has been simmering. It's kind of boiling up here and it's been simmering for a good about 15 minutes right now. So, and I've just been stirring along the way, making sure nothing sticks at the bottom because you know, that's where all the flavor is. So I just kind of keep going along and trying to scrape and make sure nothing sticks. We are gonna we are gonna add our one stick of butter, which seems like kind of a lot, but it will make this so yummy and creamy and it really it really just needs it. So we're gonna add our one stick of butter. We're also gonna add our potatoes and let them cook in. This is the longest thing to cook, these potatoes, so you really want them soft and nice. And they really make the soup. They really make it hearty, and um, everybody who eats it always says, they're always surprised that there's potatoes. So when I make this soup, it's going to come up to almost the top, so don't be afraid. That's why the, the lady who I got the recipe from, she used a really tall, tall stock pot. I just never have had one. So I use this one and I push it all the way to the top as much as I can. So you can see that butter melts really fast and kind of, you can see the color changing in the broth as well. So this is the longest part because you really want it to cook to where the potatoes are pretty much done. And then we will add the cream and the noodles. And the noodles need to um, bake for about, they need to cook for about 10 minutes and then your soup is done. So we are on the home stretch. Just checking our potatoes to see how soft they are. You can pierce them with a fork and that's kind of what we're looking for. And this is how our soup is looking so far, very hearty. I like my chicken more finer, um, but you can definitely shred it so you have bigger chunks in it as well. You add the noodles. I always take the full length of the noodle and I just break them by thirds. So I break a third and put them in there and then I break it in half. Once we've added all the noodles, it will be really hard to stir. So then we were gonna add the cream. And I just use heavy whipping cream. And it will definitely change the color of your soup. So I usually add, I usually add the entire quart. And my soup turns white. If you want to make this soup um, stretch, you can add half and half, or you can also stretch it more by adding more cups of chicken broth for a larger group of people. I usually let the noodles kind of cook at this time, 
and I usually make a roux to thicken it up right at the end. I'll put that in. I actually don't have any flour, so I'm going to try to thicken it up with cornstarch this time. But usually I do butter, uh, up a tablespoon of butter um, to about a fourth a cup of flour. Put it on a pot right here next to my stove. Cook it till it's like a dough and it doesn't stick to your pan and then put it in your soup and that will thicken it up as well. I'm going to let my noodles cook for about um, 10 minutes to make, if you don't have flour like I do, you can use cornstarch and all I did was I put two tablespoons of cornstarch in this little bowl and then scooped some of the broth into it and I am going to stir it around till all the lumps come out. And then when the noodles are cooked, I'm going to add this to my pot. Just put my roux in. And I'm going to stir that around. Alright guys, so it's a thicker consistency because we added that cornstarch. Um, you can also do the roux as well. Um, keep in mind that you can add more butter if you like, and it kind of just adds a little bit to the finish. And if you need more cream, um, add half and half. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. This doesn't seem to need it, so I'm not going to add my half and half. But if I had a bigger pot, I probably would, because this is all the way at the top of mine. And that is how our soup looks. This is our soup. Very creamy, very hearty. There's lots of vegetables and the noodles. It's very filling. All right, guys, I usually serve this soup with um, some kind of homemade bread. Um, you can do garlic bread, anything like that. I usually serve it like that. You can put crackers in it as well. And my one tip is I usually put a little bit of red pepper flakes in it. This is kind of a mild soup, so it's good for kids as well. Um, and if you don't like spicy at all, don't put anything. Me and my husband love, we just put like one shake and it makes all the difference. So that is my um, tip to you guys. It's so good. So really, as you can see, I just added one little shake, stir it around. It kind of just gives it that bite and it's so good. So you can see the steam coming off of it. It is the best, let me tell you. It's good comfort food, good for a big, large crowd, feeds everyone, and it always goes over really well. So as my soup bubbles behind me and I wait for my company to get here, I just wanted to thank you guys for coming over and cooking with me. I know my cook with me's are kind of informal, but I like to just feel like I'm hanging out, and if you guys were sitting right here, this is exactly what I would be doing. So I just wanted to thank you guys for that, and I will see you all in my next brand new video. Don't forget to hit those bell notifications and that subscribe button, and um, I will see you guys again.